hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i will teach you a problem related to pipe bed here is the question a question says a 300 mm dia pipe carries water under a head of 20 meter with a velocity of 3.5 meter per second if the axis of the pipe turns through 45 degree find the magnitude and the direction of the resultant force at the bed so let us start writing the data which is given in the question here, a constant dia of the pipe is given and the dia is 300 mm. Let us take small d be the dia of the pipe which is given as 300 mm and let us convert that in terms of meter by dividing the value with 1000 because we know that 1000 mm makes 1 meter hence we need to divide 300 with 1000 in order to get the value in terms of meter. By dividing this we will get 0 0.3 meters. Similarly, let us write the data which is given in the question, one more data, and that is the head of the water which is flowing in the pipe is given, which is of 20 meter. Here the head which is given in the question represents the pressure head and we represent pressure head in terms of h, small h, which is 20 meter. Then the velocity at which the water is flowing in the pipe is also given. Let us consider V be the velocity which is given as 3.5 meter per second. Here the axis of the pipe is making an angle of 45 degree. So that means earlier the pipe will be laid straight and then at, at some point the pipe will bend by making an angle of 45 degree with respect to horizontal. So let us take theta be the angle of deflection which is made by the pipe with respect to the horizontal and that is of 45 degree. Now with this data we have to find the magnitude as well as the direction of the resultant force at the bend. That means at this point we have to determine the resultant force value as well as in what direction the resultant force is moving. Now let us consider F or be the resultant force which has to be found out. Similarly, let us consider phi be the direction of the resultant force, again which, had to, which has to be found out. So now we have written all the data and whatever the thing that we need to find. So let us start solving the problem. Here we first have to find the discharge of the pipe. So in order to find the discharge which is taking place in the pipe, we have to go to the general equation of discharge and the general equation of discharge says that discharge Q is equal to product of area into velocity. Here the dia of the pipe is given from which we can find the area of the pipe to find that the formula is pi d square by 4. I have directly substituted the value of d as 0 0.3 here. You, if you want you can substitute in the next step. So in the next step, let us substitute the value of d as 0 0.3 and that divided by 4 into v. v represents the velocity of flow which is taking place in the pipe and that is 3.5. Now on simplifying the whole thing, you have to get the value of q as 0 0.247 meter cube per second. So that represents the discharge which is taking place in the pipe. See the purpose of finding the discharge is we have to find the resultant force here that is the magnitude of resultant force and that will be only found out when we find the values of the forces which is acting along x as well as the y direction. And in order to find the forces which are acting along x and y direction the equations are to find fx the equation is rho q into v1 minus v2 cos theta plus p1 a1 minus p2 a2 into cos theta where rho represents the density of the liquid which is flowing in the pipe q represents the discharge of the liquid which is flowing in the pipe v1 represents the velocity at the pipe at the inlet tip similarly v2 represents the velocity at the outlet or at the bend or after the bend similarly p1 represents the pressure at the inlet and A1 represents the area of the pipe at inlet. Likewise, P2 represents the pressure at the outlet and A2 represents the area of the pipe at the outlet tip. Whereas, theta represents the angle of deflection which is made at the bend. Similarly, in order to find the Fy value, Fy will be found out with the equation rho q into minus of V2 sin theta minus P2 A2 sin theta. 
Once we found fx, fy, in order to find the resultant force, the resultant force will be given by the equation square root of fx square by fy square. See, the value of the resultant force will be only found with the help of fx, fy. Again, if, if in order to find the value of fx, fy, we have to first find the values of q. If v1, v2 is not given, we need to find it. If it is given, whatever the value that is given in the question, we need to substitute it. And then we have to find the value of P1, A1, P2 as well as A2. So all these things we, we have to find in order to find the values of Fx and Fy. So for that reason, I found the value of Q in the very first step. Now, coming back to the equation of Fx, the unknown terms which are left out are V1, V2. See here, V1, V2 represents the velocities at the inlet as well as the outlet dip. But in this question, there is only one velocity which is given, and that is 3.5 meter per second. So that velocity itself will be the velocity at both the inlet as well as the outlet dip because the dia of the pipe is constant. If the dia of the pipe is constant, then the pressure which is generated in the pipe discharge which is generated in the pipe as well as the velocity which is generated in the pipe, all the three characteristics of the fluid will remain same. So here we have to take V1 is equal to V2 which will be equal to 3.5 meter per second. Then comes P1 and P2. As I said, the diameter of the pipe in this problem is same, that is of 300 mm. The, there is a constant dia both at the inlet as well as the outlet tip. For that reason, pressure will remain same. So now we have to find the values of P1, P2, and which are with, whose values are same. So in order to find that, in the question, they have given you the head of the water. So that head represents the pressure head. So, and we represent pressure head with the, with the letter H. Here, H in terms will be written as P by rho G. We usually represent the pressure head in terms of pressure with the formula P by rho G. Here, P itself is not unknown. You keep P as it is. And on cross multiplying this, rho and G will come to the numerator along with the value of 20. Here rho represents the density of the water that is flowing in the pipe and G represents the acceleration due to gravity and 20 represents the head of the water that means the pressure head which is given in the question itself. Now let us substitute the value of rho G. Here the value of rho is 1000 and G is 9.81 and 20 you keep it as it is. Now on simplifying the whole thing you will get the pressure value as 196200 Newton per meter square and this pressure represents both the inlet pressure as well as the outlet pressure. That is why I have written the value as P1 is equal to P2. Now wherever you have the term P1, P2, you need to substitute this value. And wherever you have the term V1, V2, we, you need to substitute the value of V, that is 3.5 meter per second. Now let us write the equation of Fx. So the equation of Fx is this. Below the equation, let us substitute all the values. Starting with the rho, rho represents the density of the water and the constant value is 1000 kg per meter cube. That multiplied by Q on earlier, see we got the value of Q as 0 0.247 and velocity is 3.5 meter per second. So let us substitute the value of Q as 0 0.247 and V, V1 represents V that is 3.5 minus again V2 represents V that is 3.5 into cos of theta. Theta represents the deflection angle that is given as 45 degree. Then plus P1. P1 is 196200 into P A2. Sorry, A1. A1 represents the area of the pipe. On doing pi d square by 4, you will get both the areas. And the value you will get 0 0.0706. So that, multi, that minus of P2. Again P2 is this. 196200 into A2. A2 is again 0.0706 into cos of theta. Again, the value of theta is 45 degree. Now, let us sub substitute the whole thing. After substituting, let us simplify the whole thing. So, when simplifying, you need to simplify in this manner. See, this is the one term. 
So the whole term has to be kept within the bracket. You first type 10,000 into 0 0.247 into again open the bracket 3.5 minus of again open the bracket 3.5 into cos of 45. How many number of brackets that you have opened? You just close it. Then you type is equal to then plus open the bracket and type this 196200 into 0 0.0706 then minus of 196200 into 0 0.076706 into cos of 45 close the bracket so then click on is equal to button you will get the value as 34310.281 so that represents the value of fx which is in terms of newton so similarly let us find the value of f y with the equation rho q into minus v2 sin theta minus of p2 a2 sin theta here, let us substitute the values of all the variables in the next step. Rho is 1000, Q is 0 0.247, then V2 is equal to V, that is 3.5, into sine of 45, that minus of P2 again, 196200, that into A2 is again 0 0.0706, into sine of 45 degree. Now, let us, let us simplify this. So, on simplifying this, you have to keep this as the whole term. Let us open with the bracket. In the bracket, you type 1000, then 0 0.274, then into open one more bracket, you type 3.5 minus 3.5 into sine of 45, then close two brackets, then minus, then open the bracket 196200 into 0 0.0706 into sine of 45. Again, close the bracket. See, you will get a value as 1045.938. So this value represents the value of Fx, which is in terms of Newton. Now, you got the negative value of Fx and a positive value of, uh, sorry, you got positive value of Fx and negative value of Fy. So positive value of Fx represents Fx is moving in the rightward direction and negative value represents Fy will be moving in the downward direction. Now in between Fx and Fy, somewhere here you get the fo resultant force Fr and let us take the angle between Fx and Fr as phi, which represents the direction of force Fr with respect to horizontal. Now we need to find the value of both Fr as well as phi. So to find Fr, the formula is square root of Fx square plus Fy square. So whatever the value of Fx and Fy you got, you just substitute it and square it and then add it and the whole value has to be put within the square root. So once you do that, you will get a value of Fr as 11263.306 Newton. Similarly, to find phi, so phi is lying in between Fx and Fy. So now, if you draw a triangle like this, so this side of the triangle represents the adjacent side for the phi. Similarly, this side represents the opposite side for psi. So the opposite one represents with the letter Fy and the adjacent side represents the value of Fx. So now, if I put tan theta, sorry tan phi for the triangle, the tan value will be written as opposite by adjacent. Opposite is Fy and adjacent side is Fx. So now we are substituting the value of Fy and Fx, both the values has to be kept with the positive sign. Here the sign only represents the direction. So need not to take the sign while finding the value of phi. Now, the positive value of phi has taken, that is 10405.938, that divided by fx. We got the value of fx as 4310.281. Again, we got the positive value here. So that divided by this value. Now let us simplify it. On si well, simplifying, you need to bring this tan to the another side. On bringing tan to the another side, you will get tan inverse. You just have to type press shift and then you press tan button. You will get the tan inverse. Then open the bracket. In the first, you have to enter the value 10405.938. Then that divided by 4310.281. So close the bracket, then type press is equal to button. 
So on pressing is equal to button, you will get a value as 67.4999 something. So that value represents the value of phi. If you want to keep the value as it is, you can keep. Otherwise, if you want to convert that in terms of degree, minute, seconds, you just have to press this button. So this button, on pressing this button, you will get a value as 67 degree, 29 minutes, and 59.99 makes 60 seconds. So that is what I got. So the value of phi is 67 degree, 29 minutes, and 60 seconds. So now we got both the magnitude as well as the direction of the resultant force. So that completes the problem. Thank you.